Beautiful people, today we're gonna to talk about uh, similar figures and scale drawings. This is our unit on similar figures and scale drawings. So similar figures have three rules, okay? So in order to be a similar figure, the figures have to be the same shape. So you can't compare a triangle to a circle, right? We have to compare the same shape to the same shape. All right, they have to have equal angles. So our next rule is we have to have equal angles. So these are our three rules. We have same shape, equal angles. And the last one is they need to be proportional sides. So our last rule is we need to have proportional sides. So proportional just means that they have to have the same um, proportionality, meaning if we butterflied them, they would come out equal, okay? So those are our three rules for similar figures. Same shape, equal angles, proportional sides, okay? So it says figure EFGH is similar, so similar means same shape, equal angles, proportional sides, to parallelogram QRST. So we have a small figure, and we have a big figure, okay? But it's telling me they're similar. That means that they're, again, the same shape. They're both parallelogram. They have equal angles, so the angles of their four corners are the same, and they have proportional sides, meaning I just took these measurements and I multiplied them by something to get these measurements, but they're gonna be proportional, okay? So the parallelograms are the what? They're the same shape. So we're just basically writing the three rules, right? They're the same shape. The corresponding angles are equal, also known as congruent, right? Congruent, equal. So we're using our three word bank words here. And the corresponding sides are proportional. And again, proportional just means if I set up a proportion they will come out equal okay so then it says we can set up our proportion so let's do that so when we set up our proportion we're always going to make um, a WKU we're going to make our proportion and we're going to put the big so there's our proportion we're going to put the big figure and then the small figure so we're always gonna start with our large figure, okay? And so when I look at my large figure, I have some sides, so like RS, right? And so I'm gonna write RS, let's change to blue here. And so that's just this side right here, side RS, okay? And then on the small figure, which side matches? Which side matches? Well, you can see that they're, they're rotated in the same way. So what would match would be F, G, okay? And then let's pick another side. So on my large figure, let's do S, T. And then what would match? Well, we would match that with G, H. Okay, and again, all I did was I just corresponded. Now, what if the figures were rotated or something and they could, you couldn't tell which one matched? I'm gonna show you the trick for that. It's really easy. You're going to take the name of the shape, which is E, F, G, H, and you're gonna stack it with the name of the other shape. So Q, R, S, T. And then from there, you can just match them. So you can say, oh, I had side RS. So RS was here in the middle. What did we match with it? FG. Oh, look, that's in the middle too. So if you're ever confused, like these two will match, right? This corner will match this corner. This corner will match this corner, so on. So you can see on the bottom, we chose ST and GH. So look, ST, GH. So you can see how they line up on the name as well. So is there a different way 
we could set up our proportion, our WKU. Absolutely, there's lots of different ways we can set them up. We're still gonna follow the, the strategy of the big um, shape first and then the small shape. So everything in this first fraction is gonna come from my bigger, my larger picture, and everything in the second shape is gonna come from my smaller picture. All right, so let's pick a new side here on my bigger picture and let's just use the names this time. So I think this time on my larger picture, which is QRST, uh, I think I will use QR. So I'm gonna box QR, okay? And I'm gonna ask myself, what would match that? Well, on the smaller shape, I would use EF, all right? And then if I was to, let's say, um, choose maybe, let's do QT, right? QT. And so if I use QT, it's gonna be kinda hard to see. Hold on, let me trace that. QT, right, which is this outward arch. Well, I would do the exact same thing on the smaller one. So that would be EH. And so you can kinda see how stacking the names helps us match up the sides, okay? So again, both of these proportions are really equivalent. They're the same. They're gonna get you the same answers, the same proportionality. We just use different pieces of the shapes. As long as we match up the sides that match the other sides, it doesn't matter, okay? All right, so let's talk about angles. So that was talking about sides. So now we're gonna talk about the angles. So the angles are just the corners, right? So that's angle F, or this is angle H, or you have angle S or angle Q, right? And so all we're gonna do is we're just gonna match those angles up and we can still use our, our name strategy here, just stacking them. So I'm gonna rewrite my names down here at the bottom just so that it'll help me um, write them closer. So E, F, G, H. And you'll notice I have to write it in exactly the same way it's written here. E, F, G, H, E, F, G, H. All right, same thing here, Q-R-S-T, Q-R-S-T. So now it's easy to match my angles. So what if I asked, what is the coordinating angle for angle F? Well, what matches angle F? Well, that would be angle R. So that's representing angle R. What if I asked for the match for angle H? Well, angle H would be angle T. So you can see that no matter what, we can use our name matching, our name stacking to kind of coordinate and match up angles and sides, etc. All right, so the big thing we're remembering today is that similar figures have the same shape, they have equal sides, and they have proportional, I mean, por proportional sides and equal angles. I apologize. Okay, those are my rules, same shape, equal angles, proportional sides. And we're gonna use lots of proportions to solve the next couple of days. That's similar shapes.